Here's problem 4, 13. A river has a steady speed of 0.3 meters per second. A student swims downstream a distance of 1.2 kilometers and returns to the starting point. If the student swims with respect to the water at a constant speed and the downstream portion of the swim requires 20 minutes, how much time is required for the entire swim? Okay, let's imagine what's going on here. Let's say we have a, a river and we have a swimmer and originally we are going downstream so we have um, the velocity of the river working for us and we also have the velocity of the swimmer which we're just going to call V and they're working together to transport this distance D down downstream and then we're going to have a situation where we're going upstream with the swimmer and in this case we still have the velocity of the river going in one direction but the velocity of the swimmer is going the opposite direction we're still going to cover the same distance d in both cases alright so we're told that the velocity of the river is indeed 0.3 meters per second if we were look, working at a uh, total speed for a certain time the velocity of the swimmer plus the velocity of the river times the time it takes to go downstream will equal this distance d that we first have here so we can use this we know that the time it takes to go downstream is told to be 20 minutes so there's uh, 60 seconds per minute and that gives us 1200 seconds so knowing 1200 seconds and knowing that our distance D is 1.2 kilometers which is 1200 meters we can calculate the velocity of the swimmer so we have V plus V sub R is now equal to D divided by the time for the downstream so the velocity of the swimmer is going to be D which is uh, divided by the time for the downstream minus the velocity of the river so that's going to be 1200 over 1200 minus 0.3 or 1 minus 0.3 or 0.7 meters per second that's the velocity of the swimmer. Okay, going upstream, we have that the velocity of the swimmer minus the velocity of the river, because we're working against the river, times the time upstream should equal d. So the time upstream is going to equal 1200 divided by the velocity of the swimmer 0.7 minus 0.3 and that is equal to what? 3000 seconds let's get rid of this right here Okay. alright so 3000 3, seconds to go upstream 1200 seconds to go downstream our total time is the time for the downstream plus the time for the upstream 1200 plus 3000 is 4200 seconds we're going to multiply that by uh, one minute per 60 seconds and this will be 70 minutes so it will take 20 minutes to go downstream 
50 minutes to come back against the current upstream. Total time of 70 minutes to complete the entire swim, moving with a swimming velocity of 0.7 meters per second.